I think throughout the world, the healthcare should be a baseline um, of, of all of our actions as a group, um, all of the countries together. Good healthcare and, and feeling well should just be a given. Well, in the rich world, health has improved incredibly. Whereas in the, the poor world, uh, the sanitation, the vaccines, the nutrition that we take for granted is not available. And so you have a lot of societies where over 20% of uh, children die before the age of five. We need more doctors volunteering their time or even getting them paid by someone um, to actually go out and, and take care of the people who are, who are suffering because they have a lack of access to the health care. The three biggest uh, killers of children are malaria, uh, diarrhea, and respiratory uh, pneumonia. And what happens is the kids get weak, they don't get enough nutrition, uh, so even things we don't think of as a big deal can often kill those children. So if we got vaccines for those, improve the nutrition, uh, some of the birth uh, practices, uh, we can cut down on it. Uh, Nine million children died uh, in 2008. Now that's down from 20 million 50 years ago. So big improvement, but it's still uh, too many. And the most magical is, is a vaccine. You get a few shots when you're young and you're protected from the disease for life. So uh, smallpox killed millions a year. The vaccine eradicated it. Measles killed over three million a year. Now that's down below a half million because the vaccine, we need to get that to everyone. So we need to invent some new vaccines. We need to distribute them better. That's basically where the magic is. Unfortunately, the percentage of kids going into these areas uh, from rich countries uh, math, science in general is, is going down. It's somewhat a mystery why those professions that are fun, have big opportunities uh, for impact, why the growth in those is so much coming out of China and India. I mean, the total number of engineers in the world, scientists in the world is going up, but it's entirely the, the Asian growth. So that's another thing that uh, we need to learn about it, but you know, kids are the ones making these choices. What are we doing wrong? How would we get the youth of, of America and the world to, to look at different problems in a certain way that they want to improve on it? You know, if kids can get out to these poor countries and see it firsthand, you know, that is so worthwhile. Uh, it's not, not easy to do. Uh, but the ones who get a chance to come back, talking to others, videoing what their experience are so that other kids can relate to what they're saying. I think that's part of how we're going to keep awareness uh, going up and, and therefore keep the, the focus on these issues. My dream is to become uh, one of the best infectious disease doctors in the world. We can never completely eradicate all infectious diseases because as we see now, uh, resistant strains of tuberculosis, for instance, are coming up. Um, and so we can never really get rid of all the diseases, but we want to prevent disease um, that is currently preventable. And it's through technology that we can achieve this. It's both invention and delivery that we need to do better on. I think with the internet, with the current generation caring more broadly about what all kids are experiencing, I think there's an opportunity here to build awareness, uh, to get kids to come up with ideas, to donate, to volunteer, and use their voice. Thank you. Everyone's life is equally important. We should level the playing field. It shouldn't have to deal with money, um, whether you live or die because of a disease.